Hello! In this tutorial I will go over how to create and publish a self-ranking leaderboard for use with several classrooms at the same time. Your end product will look something like this. The leaderboard will show images depicting the ranks and color code the student names according to class. Your first step is to create an image bank for your heraldry. Create a Google document to host your images so that you can easily find their URLs. Publish the document to the web. And open that link. For each of the images, you will need to create a short URL. With your published document open, Right-click, select Copy Image Address, navigate to goo.gl, paste the long URL using Ctrl-B, click on Shorten URL, and copy this short URL, Ctrl-C to copy. Go back to your original document and paste the short URL, Ctrl-B. Continue that same process until you have all the shortened URLs for all of your images. At this point, you are probably asking why. Well, you will need these shortened URLs in the formula that displays the images. It's down here. And we'll get back to that in a little bit. Now go to your drive and create a new Google spreadsheet. Give it a name and add the names of your students. This will be the only time where you will actually have to type their names. For the totals, use the equal sum function allowing you to add all of their scores automatically. Now the rank is where the big formula comes in. I shared the big conditional formula in the heraldry document, but you can pause this video if you need to copy it manually. You will need to do two things. Change each of these green URLs to your shortened URLs Copy it into your document, paste it on the cell that you like, and change each of these cell identifiers to the correct cell. In this case, it's going to be D2. Don't worry, you only need to do this once. Once your formula leads to the correct place, you simply select the cell, not the contents, do Ctrl C, and then paste it in the ones below. See, it changes automatically to the correct cell. Yes, you will have to do it for all of the cells, but you only need to do it once. At this point, you could already create a self-ranking leaderboard that looks like this one for one class using the pivot function. But I promised you one that had all the students you teach, so we're going to go ahead and create that. This can be easily accomplished by making copies of your original and simply changing the names of your students. File, make a copy, once you have all of your different leaderboards, go ahead and make a new one and call it Combined Leaderboard. You do not have to retype all the names. Let me show you what you need to do. 
Each of the sheets you created has an identifier. It's this big string of numbers that is up here. We are going to use the import range function in order to bring all the data over. Type equals import range, open parenthesis, quotations, that big string of numbers and letters, close the quotations. In this case, I had it in a specific sheet, so that's why it says blogs, but you could simply do the A2. This is the range that you're importing. And as you can see, as soon as I hit enter, it brings all the data over. I color coded mine just so that I could keep track. And then this is simply the second sheet with its identifier, the third sheet with its identifier, and so forth. Before I show you the pivot table, let me show you what happens. Let's say this student scored, I don't know, 50,000. It automatically changed the rank. Let's see, 25,000. These ranks are changing automatically. Let's do 800 and then let's do 10,000 here. It adds it and immediately puts in the rank. What happens in the combined leaderboard? Same thing. It appears right there. It brings all the data over. That in itself is already pretty cool. But what about the leaderboard? For that, we're going to create a pivot table. Change the name of your home sheet. In this case, I called it leaderboard. Click on data, pivot table. It already has the name of the sheet and the full data, A1 to D175. Click on Values, Add Field. In this case, I called it Blog XP. It must coincide with what you are going to sort it by. In this case, again, Blog XP. By default, you have Summarize by Sum, but you could summarize by some other data. Click on Add Field, Group by Student Name, Order Descending, and Sort by Sum of Blog XP. Cool, it already ranked them. Now how do I add the little icon? Simply add another field. This time it's rank. You can leave it as ascending and rank. As you see, it already, the ranks appear. Get rid of the show totals to get your clean look. In order for your icons to appear bigger, Simply select your cells, right click, resize rows, and I don't know, let's give it a hundred and see how that looks. Okay, that that's much better. Now this gives you the ranks for all, in this case, 175 students. But if you wanted to create it by class, you follow the exact same procedure and modify the range according to whatever range that class is on your original. Let's see, there's my sixth grade. It starts at A36, ends at D70. This other class starts at A71 and ends at D105. To edit the range, you simply click on Edit Range. 
and tell it what data you want. You can add a row above to give these columns titles. Insert row above. Make it smaller, it's a little bit too big. And you may be wondering why I have these codes before the names. That is so I can also color code the classes in my global ranking. In order to do that, select the column, scroll all the way down to conditional formatting, click on these arrows, text starts with, and that is why I had those numbers. I don't know, 7S. and you can change the color. You can add new rules for all of the different things that you have here. Once you create the rule, you can modify it. That color is horrible, so let's try a lighter purple. And then let's add a new rule. This one is going to be text starts with, what is the other one, 7E. And let's color it yellow. But see, now it can color code. It color codes my different classes. This is my finished product with all my different color coding. And all of my students ranked. My classes are super competitive with one another. And they like to see where they stack up. In order to allow them to do that, I do a final tweak of the individual class leaderboards. Actually, let's go to one that has more data. Under your pivot table, add a cell that gives you the name of the class. And in this cell, add equals the total, the grand total cell. Go back to your global ranking sheet, click insert, chart, click on select data range, go to the sheet where you just added the totals, select the range, click OK, scroll down to the little speed dials, and there you have it click insert. Resize by simply dragging. And to create the colors, click on advanced to edit. Minimum gauge zero, let's say 300,000. You can put whatever values you like. Green would be, I don't know, 10,000 to 3,000, I mean 30,000. And you can do that for all the different colors. Adding them here and here. Once I am done and ready to publish, I do not share the whole thing with my students. Google Sheets allows you to publish individual sheets. Click on File, Publish to the Web, choose Link or Embed depending on what you want, but instead of choosing entire document, you can choose just the sheet that you like, in this case Global Ranking, and it gives you the address. There's the sheet that I just published. A self-ranking leaderboard, color-coded by class, with images, individual totals, and class gauges. I hope you found this helpful and easy to follow. Thank you for watching.